If you believe that the radical left isn't after your children, you're ignoring the fact that they very, very clearly are after your children. So Nickelodeon actually broadcast, I'm not kidding you, a video from a drag queen named Nina West. And forgive my unfamiliarity, this is not a world in which I generally traffic. The drag queen Nina West performed an original song about the meaning of the rainbow pride flag for small children. Because again, Nickelodeon is directed at small children. It is not directed at teens. It is not directed at adults. It is directed at small children. And so we are going to now indoctrinate children into the wonders of various sexual orientations and the complete moral relativity of human sexuality. And we're going to do this to like four and five-year-olds. Because confusing children is what people are in the business of doing. Because if you can confuse children, and if you can tell them that true glory lies in how you identify on the inside, as opposed to, you know, complying with basic societal norms, not with regard to even sexuality, but with regard to just decent human behavior, right? As in not sexualizing children. Well, then that apparently is bad. You're, you're not supposed to do that, right? We have to, there is no way to discuss gay pride without coming into conflict when you're coming to discuss this with children, without coming into conflict with the reality, which is that it is a sexual orientation, which implies sex, which implies you now have to discuss sex with small children. And I have TV people discussing sex with small children and gender orientation with small children. Does this sound like a great idea to you? If you're a parent, you need to turn off the damn TV right the hell now. You don't let your, st your kids watch stuff that you haven't pre-screened because otherwise you end up with this. Here is a, dra a drag queen lecturing your child on a bunch of stuff, including, by the way, BLM. There's like a BLM fist that appears halfway through this particular video. So you get a lecture on the gay pride flag by a man dressed as a woman. And this is going out to four and five-year-olds. This is, this is woke indoctrination of small children on sexual matters. Don't tell me that that isn't abuse of children. It is. It is mass abuse of children. If somebody came into your house and started doing this to your child without your consent, you would immediately call the cops. Okay, I'm not talking about like physically abusing the child. I'm talking about if an adult came into your house, a man dressed as a woman came into your house and started singing to your child about the wonders of various sexual orientations and your kid's five, you would call the cops. Okay, well, you turned on the TV, so the idea is that the consent is yours, that you have now consented. But how many parents have actually consented to seeing this? How many parents knew this was going to appear on Nick? Really, how many parents were sitting around going, I'll, I'll bet that what they're going to broadcast today is, a, is a, a radical gay propaganda video directed at children. By the way, you can be an advocate of gay rights and still believe this is not appropriate for children because it's not appropriate for children. And here's some rather inappropriate material for children appearing on Nickelodeon. Doesn't it just fill you with pride Showing who you are on the inside With a pride flag up high Be true to you Happy Pride, everyone! Yeah! It, it fills you with pride showing who you are on the inside. So notice also that there has been a, a different sort of approach to why kids are supposed to be told about this stuff. So it used to be the kids need to be told about this stuff because if you are five or six years old, there may be a kid in your class who has two mommies or two daddies, right? That was the original thing, right? This was the, the what was it? Uh, has two mommies, Heather has two mommies, right? The Heather has two mommies book was a controversy maybe 15 years ago. The idea was you need to teach kids because there might be a kid in the class who doesn't have a mom and a dad, but actually has two dads or two moms. And now that was foolish because why would you have to teach every kid in America about this as opposed to just dealing with it when your kid comes home and asks about it? This is a, a job for parents, but, Put that aside. This is no longer directed at the kids' parents. Now, this is directed at children themselves. You, a five or six year old, you might identify as a trans kid. You might identify as a drag queen. Okay, that is, it's an attempt to indoctrinate confusion into children. That's all it is. We'll get to more on this in just one second. First, let's talk about the fact that you're about to have an amazing summer because things are opening back up. But as you are out and about, you need a fantastic pair of wireless earbuds. You know what I'm about to say. The only pair of earbuds that you should be wearing are Raycons. Raycon is disrupting the electronics industry by making great sound available for everyone. Their wireless earbuds start at half the price of other premium audio brands. Raycon earbuds will give you six hours of playtime, seamless Bluetooth pairing, more bass, a more compact design for a comfortable noise isolating fit. Raycon offers their wireless earbuds in a range of fun colors and patterns with a variety of fit options, no dangling wires, no stems. One of the best things about Raycons, you can customize them to fit your ear perfectly, which is exactly what I do. The company was co-founded by Ray J, celebrities like Snoop Dogg and Brandy are obsessed with Raycons. 
and so am I. So a lot of people from a lot of different backgrounds love their Raycons. Raycon has a 45-day free return policy. Here's what you've got to do. Click the link in the description box or go to buyraycon.com slash Shapiro YT to get 15% off your Raycon purchase today. Nina West apparently had himself. I, I, I don't know whether Nina West identifies as a woman or as a drag queen who identifies as a man. There are, there are both. Okay, so Nina West didn't just do a song for Nickelodeon writ large. Nina West also did a song for Blue's Clues. Blue's Clues is directed at three-year-olds. I have small children. Blue's Clues is, is directed at three, four, five-year-old children. These are small kids. There are no 11-year-olds watching Blue's Clues. And now you have Blue's Clues having its own pride parade featuring a drag queen for small children. Don't tell me this isn't about indoctrination of kids. It's 100% about indoctrination of kids. And, and by the way, if you think the people who are doing this don't know what they're doing, you're an idiot. Of course they know what they're doing. Their idea is that they have to counter you, the parent. You, the evil parent, the evil traditionalist parent who teaches your kids that there's a difference between men and women and that men and women get married and then have babies. You have to be countered right now because you might be indoctrinating a pseudo, a little fascist like yourself. And so we have to get a hold of your kid and remold your kid. There's no other explanation for why this stuff is being broadcast on children's television. And you know who this really comes down to? You, the parent. Turn off the damn TV. Here's what appeared on Blue's Clues. It's time for a pride parade. Families marching one by one. Hurrah, hurrah. This family has two mommies. They love each other so proudly. And they all go marching in the big Daddies, they love each other so proudly. These papas are non-binary. They love each other so proudly. Trans members of this family all love each other so proudly. And they all go marching in the big parade. Come join the fun! You see how it morphed? It, right, so it started off, even this video started off with, there are some kids who have two mommies or two daddies. And then it moved into, some are non-binary. Okay, now you have to explain to children that they could have a, a malleable gender, which is, number one, a lie, and number two, is super confusing to tiny kids, to small... Also, you have, to, you have to say to a small child who thinks he's a robot today that he might actually be a girl. Okay, the only reason Nickelodeon is doing this is to please its most fervent radical supporters. And, again, these people think they are doing good. Understand that this is not people who are just making a market decision because the market for this stuff is rather small. It is people who believe they are doing a social good by indoctrinating your kids in a particular style of thinking. They're taking your kids away from you. And if given power, these folks will do the exact same thing physically. They will take your kids away from you. Okay, I, this sounds like chicken little sky is falling stuff, but it is already happening so long as your kid is quote unquote diagnosed with something. If, if you, the eventuality here is pretty obvious. You're going to send your four or five-year-old kid to school your four or five year old kid is going to say a dumb, confused things because kids who are four or five are dumb and confused. I know I have small kids. Your four or five year old will go to school. And they'll say something like, I want to wear a dress today, a, a little boy. And instead of being at home where you would say, no, that's silly. Let's put on some pants. Instead of doing that, the teacher's going to be like, you should. You should see how you feel in a dress. It will be encouraged. And then if you object as a parent, they will say that you are. You are stifling your child's growth. Because what we have here is two conflicting visions of how kids are civilized. One suggests that kids must be civilized to a quote unquote non judgmental society in which all behavior is treated equivalently, except for religious and traditionalist behavior, which is treated with scorn. And that kids should be encouraged to, to experiment with gender and experiment with sexual orientation and experiment with everything. And another view that says that things like biological sex exist, that male and female exist, that there are, in fact, moral preferences with regard to sexual behavior. And those of us who are libertarian on the right when it comes to government, are say, we say, listen, you're an adult, you get to do what you want. But get, what you don't get to do is indoctrinate kids. And those on the left, they say, you on the right don't get to do what you want and we're, gonna, and, and we're going to indoctrinate your kids. That's what this conflict is going to come down to. The battle for the culture is heating up. We here at The Daily Wire are making some big moves. So be sure to like, subscribe, ring that bell, because you're not going to want to miss a single moment.